Santa Ana, it's not just a place, it's a community with its own unique character. Over the years, Santa Ana, it's garnered a bit of a mixed reputation. So it's understandable if you're unsure if it's going to be the right place for you. If you ask 10 locals here in Orange County what they think about Santa Ana, you're probably gonna get 10 different answers. But if you give Santa Ana a chance to reveal its true essence, you might be pleasantly surprised. In today's video, I'll be covering those continuous questions that I get from people who are considering making a move to Santa Ana, California, such as what is Santa Ana really like? How's the homelessness and the crime? How are the schools, the house prices? Is it expensive? And what does it offer for families? I'll answer all these questions and more for you coming up. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Garrett Gann. I'm a local Orange County real estate agent and host of YouTube's Living in OC. If you are considering making a move to Orange County, California, this is what I do. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you prefer. I have people just like you. They're reaching out every single week now and I absolutely love it. I'll be looking forward to speaking with you too. Now let's get right into the weeds and dive into all things Santa Ana, California. Santa Ana is actually the second largest city in Orange County with around 315,000 people. The location of the city, it's extremely convenient. It's close to major freeways like the 5, the 405, the 22, and the 55, making it extremely easy to get around. It sits just 15 miles from Huntington Beach, 8 miles to Anaheim, and right next door to Irvine, which offers incredible job opportunities and education. Plus, it's only about 35 miles to downtown Los Angeles. And if you didn't already know, Santa Ana has its own airport in John Wayne, with direct flights all over the country. That's a huge bonus, not having to use that always chaotic LAX airport. Another huge bonus to Santa Ana is the climate, with over 300 days of sunshine every single year. Now, let's look at what specifically makes Santa Ana special, starting with some positives. If you are choosing to call Santa Ana home, you're choosing a place that always has something entertaining going on. The city is actually this treasure cove of beautiful historical buildings with a 21 block area showcasing over 100 structures constructed between 1877 and 1934. From the majestic Old City Hall to the Old County Courthouse, now a museum, there's an abundance of architectural wonders that you can go check out. Santa Ana offers more than just historical architecture though. It's a very dynamic area Area with a lot to offer. Over the past few years, it has seen significant developments, including new bars, restaurants, theaters, a ballet, and a thriving art scene. For families, there's dance classes, orchestras, galleries, and museums. So if you are into culture or you do have a young family, Santa Ana has something to keep everybody entertained. Another perk to living in Santa Ana is its relatively affordable cost of living, especially when compared to other Orange County cities. Often people have mixed feelings about Santa Ana, but it's important to note that Santa Ana has been undergoing this significant transformation. New businesses are popping up all over the place, but due to its reputation, you can find some fantastic real estate deals, and it can provide that affordable opportunity to break into the Orange County housing market. Santa Ana offers a range of options based on your budget. You can find three bedroom, two bathroom homes with about 1,600 square feet, maybe a 6,500 square foot lot for about $800,000. In a region where million dollar homes are quite frankly the norm, Santa Ana it can provide those affordable options for you. If you're willing to explore neighborhoods, you can even find some three bedroom homes for around $600,000. Now the curb appeal may not be as high as some of those upscale areas, but it's still quite pleasant. Santa Ana's sunny climate and tree-lined streets, they contribute to the overall charm here. Now for those of you with a budget of around 1 million to 1.5, Santa Ana offers larger, beautiful homes in areas like floral park for example. These areas may not have that same level of curb appeal as neighboring cities in OC, but they are spacious and they come with those perks of Santa Ana's vibrant culture and history. Now, let's turn our attention to some downsides of living in Santa Ana. As for safety, violent and property crime rates, they are slightly below the national averages, but higher levels of crime are often localized to specific neighborhoods. It's certainly a factor that families and individuals should consider before they relocate here. As for the homelessness here, it's not as affected by it as other areas in Southern California, as efforts have been made to improve the situation in Santa Ana. With that said though, Santa Ana, it does have a homeless population of around a thousand as of this year. Though it is a significant improvement from the previous years, 
it's still certainly something to be aware of. As far as the schooling goes, Santa Ana, it may not have some of those top tier ranked schools as some neighboring cities in Orange County, but it still has a very strong educational system as compared to the national averages. It is essential to research the schools in your desired area with websites like niche.com that can provide valuable insights and reviews from the residents here. Niche.com gives the Santa Ana Unified School District a grade of a B plus. So there you have it, an honest look at life here in Santa Ana, California. Although it may not always be the first choice for newcomers here in Orange County, California, it has been evolving and offers an excellent quality of life at a much more affordable price point than some of the neighboring cities. With the culture, the accessibility, and diverse housing options, Santa Ana is definitely worth considering for your next move. I hope this was informative for those of you who are considering making a move to this area. If you do have any questions whatsoever about Santa Ana or what it's like to live here in Orange County, reach out to me directly by texting or calling my personal number that's on the screen for you now. Whether you're making that move in nine days or nine months, reach out to me. I'll be looking forward to speaking with you. Other than that, if you did find any value in today's video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me out tremendously in getting this information out to people who could really benefit from it. And definitely consider subscribing as I'm dropping multiple videos a week for all things living in Orange County, California. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.